Hey guys, welcome back to Pow Gang Cubing. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and check out other content once you're done with watching this video. So here we make tutorials, reviews, unboxings, challenges, and more. So please be sure to subscribe once you're done with watching this video and make sure to check out all other content. This is a beginner tutorial on how to solve a square one. And a square one is known as a twisty puzzle. It is a very hard puzzle that most people think at least. Um, once you've solved it, it's not very intimidating, and in this video, I'm going to show you an extremely easy method to learn how to solve it, and this involves no long algorithms, which makes it super easy to use. My square one scrambled. By the way, this is the Chi Chifa. I'd recommend it to any beginner who wants to learn square one. The first step is you need to make a block and then uh, end up solving it the, in the cube shape way. So first, what you need to do is you need to join two pieces next to each other, and I already have these two right here, so I can put them right there. Next, what you want to do is you want to put more pieces next to them. So I have this block right here, and I can put that, and now I have a four-piece block. Now I want to join more next to that, so, what I can do is I can put this block, which I have right here, next to that, and now I have five, and now I have my last one, which I can uh, try to move there. Sometimes uh, you just have to play around with it. So like I could, uh, in this case, I have that bar and that bar. I have five right here. I could pair those together. And then I could put the two in like that. And what you really want it to come down to is this uh, block of all of the edges and all of the corners should be on the bottom. And I'll give you guys a couple tips, but you basically just want to play around with it until you connect each individual side piece with another. So you should come to one or two cases using the way that I just showed you. This is the method that I learned, and I'd say it's the very easiest method, and I really enjoy using it, using this method, and you can achieve some good times also. So you should come to either this case or the one I just showed you, and this is the one where there's seven pieces, and then there's the last extra piece that's uh, separate from the rest. So what you need to do is you need to line it up. So there's um, these two lines, and you need to line it up so that these two pieces are on their own side and then you need to slice them down and by the way um all you need to do is like slice and that's how you move on a square one you move by slice moves like this and then you move by upper and down rotations but you can't slice once you have to slice twice so here what you're gonna do is once you have that apart what you need to do is you need to put uh, two of the other sides together and then move it like that and then what you need to do is make sure you put these two side pieces together and then move them up so it makes that bar and then you just have your last to move it like that so cube shape is one of the easiest parts of square one and I just showed you it so you guys should know how to use it and it's good practice and you can rewatch that part if you want to learn how to do it again or if you just want more practice. So then what you need to do is you need to have your slice be like this. It can either be like that or it can be like this where it is full like that. Well actually it can be like this but anyways it can be like that or it can be separate. It, these slice moves and this middle slice don't matter so you don't need to worry about them. So now what you're going to do is you're going to split it down the middle so you have four on the left side, four on the right side. You're going to do a slice. Then you need to split the top down the middle. So there's four uh, right there, two and two. And you need to do that same thing with the bottom. Split it down the middle. And then you need to do that with the top. But instead of doing it like that, what you need to do is you need to move it so it's across and it makes like sort of like an X line if you look at the top and bottom. And then you do another slice and then you can just do like two, basically two moves and then it'll be in cube shape. So that's how you get it into cube shape. You guys need to know this trick when solving a square one. So now that I have mine in cube shape, you wanna keep it in cube shape. 
and there's a specific way of doing that and that's if, if you only align the top piece by one little edge then it will stay in cube shape so as you can see it stayed in cube shape and i can just keep doing that and it still keeps staying in cube shape no matter how much i try to get it out of cube shape it's always still in cube shape and that's the same thing as if you unaligned the bottom and you do that and then you unline it again and that's basically the same thing for both of the layers so that's your trick to keeping it in cube shape now what you need to do is you need to solve all of the corners so what you do is you should have a bar if you don't just make a bar by moving a corner up and as you can see i've misaligned the layer and then you uh, need to make the bar that you just made or that you need to make and as you can see since i have both of them misaligned then it won't work i um, need one of them to be misaligned and now i have this where i have all of the white corners on the top and all of the yellow corners on the bottom before we start doing the edges i need to show you two things one if you have your yellow uh, shade as black that is what some square ones have and that's the same so you can just imagine that this is black and not yellow because some square ones have it black instead of yellow the second thing is the only algorithm that you basically do when solving it and it uh, relates to all algorithms and how you do it is you do misalign top layer like that slice align top layer misalign bottom layer slice and then just uh, put them both in, back into cube shape and that's known as the m2 so for three by three an m2 looks like that and obviously there isn't any centers or i can do it like this so the cube looks like this and as you can see the edges look the same and that is why it's called the m2 because when you're doing a three by three you do m moves like that so that's basically what an M2 looks like on a square one as well. So now you should be in a case where you need to orient the top edges. So you, if you have this case where there is the opposite edges on the top and the opposite edges on the bottom, you both need, you need to keep them both. So they're both in the line down the middle. As you can see, my top and bottom are in the line down the middle. And then you need to do the algorithm that I just taught you, which is slice, misalign, align, and then slice down, and then that should solve the top layer. Now we're going to go over some other cases. So you should either be in a case where you have, um, you have two edges or one edge. If you have three edges, then do what I just showed you using the case where you just do the uh, M2, which it looks like, and then, which is the algorithm that I just showed you, and then you'll get to either a case where there's two edges or one edge, and the two edges can be like this or like uh, cross from each other. So if you're in this case, what you need to do is you need to move it like this, where you have the uh, right angle on the top, right angle on the bottom, the top one should be on the top left. So make sure you keep it on the top left and the bottom one should be on the bottom right. So make sure you keep it on the bottom right. Then what you do is you do the slice, then you do a U prime, then you do what I just showed you. And then uh, once you finish that, so if you're in this case, what you just need to do is do the slice again, and then it should, or a U then do the slice, and then it should be all solved. So again, if you're in the case right here where you have the top like this, with the right angle and the bottom, you position it just like this, and then you do slice, U prime, M2, and then you should have it all solved. Now, this is the next case we're going to learn for the square one, and it's when you have one edge that you need to uh, swap with the other edge. So if you have one edge like this, what you're going to do is you're going to put it on the right side, like that, and then the bottom one will go on the back side. 
so like you can see the right um the top one's on the right and the bottom one's on the back then what you do is the same algorithm that we just learned so you do slice u prime m2 algorithm then you do a u then you do slice again and then you can just go into the state that we just learned and then you finish the all of the yellow and white. So now that we're done solving all of the edges, what you need to do is you need to figure out if there's parity or not. So parity is when um, something happens. So when you're solving it and you can't solve it like a three by three because for example, two edges are swapped or one edge is flipped. And that's basically what it's like on a four by four. So for the top, I have parity because as you can see, there's no blocks and it's most definitely parity. On the uh, bottom, I also have parity because this um, isn't legal. So since I have parity on the top and on the bottom, I can skip this step. If I would have had parity on uh, the top and not the bottom or the bottom and not the top, then I have to do a parity algorithm. But since I have it on the top, and the bottom, then I don't have to do it. And if I had no parity on either, then I wouldn't have to do it either. This is an example of parity because on the top, I have an A perm, and on the bottom, I have this weird funky case that isn't real on 3x3. So this is an example of parity. And how you fix parity is without any, like, you don't need to position it in any way on the top or bottom layer. What you do is I have a full tutorial on that and it will be down in the description by the way so you guys can check that out if you need more of an in-depth tutorial but how you do it is you basically undo how you got it into a three by three so you do a slice like that then uh, you need to pair the two edges like you did before so you do a uh, if it was like this you do a u prime d prime slice again then this is in the case that you learned before and you basically want to pair the two together so it makes four so you position it like this and then you do a slice again and now you have four and four so what you need to do is you need to put the top one like this so the four is on the top left and the bottom one needs to be positioned the same if you were to flip it over and now you just do a slice move and then you put it back into cube shape like I taught you guys in the beginning. So you just uh, put it back into cube shape and now it should be fixed and on the top as you can see I have parity and on the bottom I also have parity. Now I really like um, that parity method and the tutorial on how to do it will be linked in the description but I really like that method because uh, most people like um, learn how to do it using the long algorithm, but that's just a short way to learn it using basically the reverse steps that you put it into cube shape. So now let's start solving the uh, corners on the top and bottom layer. First going to go over this case where there is two correct corners or there's two incorrect corners on the top. And as you can see, I have parity on the top in parity on the bottom, so I'm all good. But in this case, there is the two corners on the top, and then there's the four corners on the bottom that are all right. So what you want to do is you want to make it so that there is two corners on the top that are right, and two corners on the bottom that are right. So how are you going to do this is to preserve this pair, or to preserve two corners that are next to each other on the top, you need to put it on the right side or you can do it on the left, it doesn't matter. And we want to switch the two back corners on this so then there will be two right and then the two back corners will be switched and there will also be two right on the top. So make sure to put, in this case, the corners either on the right side or the left side. And by the way, the way we do this is using uh, sexy moves. So on a three by three, a sexy move is R, U, R prime, U prime, and if you do it six times, then it will end up solving it. So you just do R, U, R prime, U prime. And here, so we need to swap the two back corners. So this uh, method, it swaps these two corners and it swaps these two corners. 
So since we have this preserved, we're going to do it. What you need to do is misalign top, then you do slice, which is the R, then you do a U, then you slice back, then you do a U prime, and then to put it all back together, you need to do a D prime, slice, uh, D, slice, and then it should have done what I just told you. So now we have two corners on the top and two corners on the bottom, and as you can see, the back two swapped. So now what you need to do is you need to do that same exact thing again. So this is the case where you have two corners on each side, and the both uh, pairs of the back need to be swapped. So you do R, U, R prime, U prime, and you do a D to uh, get this pair together. R, D. And then as you can see now, all of my corners are all permuted. So now we need to solve the edges real quick. For any of those cases, you can uh, literally just do that algorithm at most twice. So for example, if you have the diagonal corner case and you just need to swap the diagonal, and let's just say you have the two bar right here, just all you need to do is simply preserve it and then uh, solve it like I showed you. So it will at take at most, once you've practiced it, two times to solve all of the corners. All right, so now it's time to solve the last edges. And this is very simple also. As you can see, I have parity on the top, but I also have parity on the bottom, so it doesn't matter. So what we're going to do here is we are going to switch to um, edges on each side. So the way we're going to do it is um, it will switch these two edges and these two edges on the bottom, the front left, and on the top, the front right. So these two and these two will be switched. And if we want to get this edge right in the back, we just need to switch it here. And then we need to switch it again. And if we need to get this one to here, we need to switch these two. And now that this one will be here, we need to switch those two again. So how you're going to do this is you're going to misalign, slice. And this is a lot like the first algorithm that we learned to permute or to orient all of the edges. So then we do a D, then we do the M2 algorithm, then we do a D prime and misalign the top layer, and then we slice again. Now, as you can see, these two edges have swapped and these two edges have swapped. So now we need to swap these two to put the blue in its right place. And then we need to swap those two. So we do that again. So you need to make sure that you're going to swap these two, then swap those two. So you need to position it right. And then what you do is slice D M2 algorithm. And then you do a D prime slice again. And now you should be just at the last two. So I just need to swap these two and swap those two. So we do that same thing, slice, D, M2 algorithm, D prime, slice. And then you just have your AUF. Now, if you're in this case where um, you just need to al align this last bar, what you do is you do R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, U2, and then that bar will be aligned. So in the beginning, I'm just showing uh, you these cases because I told you not to worry about this middle bar. So I'm just showing you a couple cases. So if you're in this case where the two opposite colors match, but these two colors need to be swapped, what you do is you put it like this and you do R2. Then using this middle slice, you move it twice. So you rotate that middle slice twice then you do R2 or slash, and then you rotate it back, and then that will solve the whole uh, middle layer. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hoped it helped you learn how to solve a square one. Please be sure to subscribe and check out other content, and make sure to practice all those algorithms. What I would recommend doing is writing them down, and then 
you can easily memorize it because they're so short within a day. So just practice uh, square one more and then you'll easily have learned how to memorize how to solve a square one.